All right, so the sun's going down. I gotta be quick. Uh, quickly gonna say that I am fat. <laughs> Can I say that? No, okay, I have gained so much weight. I am the biggest that I probably have ever been in my whole life and I need to change it. My channel I'm Alexa Jean and I have been on the keto diet for 35 days now <laughs> usually here I like to talk about travel and design but I decided to tra challenge challenge myself on a new diet little background I have never ever ever been on a diet before I've never I mean I would eat healthy sometimes try to as we all probably do but I decided to be crazy and just cold turkey start a diet. Before I really get into the core and the meat, no pun intended, of this video, I just wanna say that it was an experience. It did have its ups and downs. Why I decided to do the ketogenic diet was actually from my dad. My dad has similar health problems as I, or I guess I have similar health problems as him because he's my dad anyway. He had very, very great success with it, so I wanted to try it out for myself. I did barely any research into it, which is not what you're supposed to do. Um, make sure you ask your doctor, folks, before doing that. Disclaimer, disclaimer, I didn't, but disclaimer. You should do that. I'm not a doctor. This is all my experience. Is that good enough? Don't sue me. Now, I'm gonna read exactly what the keto diet is so I don't mess anything up and no, keyboard warriors come for me saying I said something wrong, even though I am very knowledgeable on this subject now, even though when I started, I didn't know all too much and I went into it blindly, which you probably shouldn't do. The ketogenic diet is a very low carb, high fat diet that shares many similarities to the Atkins and other low carb diets. So you might've heard of Atkins diet, it's kind of like that, but not exactly. Plus I don't need like, a system or anything to do it. I'm doing this 100% on my own. I didn't pay anybody. I didn't sign up for a program. This is all me. It involves drastically reducing carbohydrate intakes or replacing it with fat. It also turns fat into ketones in the liver, which can supply energy for the brain. So basically what's happening here is that I am changing my body from running on just, I don't even know, other types of fuel, and I am now running on fat. So on July 8th, the first thing I had to do was declutter my kitchen. All my kitchen is carbs. Here's a little challenge. Go just pick up anything that you have in your kitchen. It doesn't have to be the obvious. Like don't pick up a bag of chips or a thing of pasta. I'm gonna say noodles every single time because I miss them so much. Anyway, don't pick those things up. Pick up something else. A granola bar that you love, some cereal, even look up like the nutrients in fruits and all that. Just, it's, it's not what you're expecting. And through this process, I definitely learned how to check a label. I would never look at a label. I didn't care if there was some high fructose corn syrup and stuff. I just wanted it to taste good. I was never a label reader and now I cannot buy something without looking at the label. So before I get into pros and cons, here's some things that I noticed personally. I have lost 10 pounds which within 35 days, it's not get thin fast, which is not possible if you think about it. It's, it's not possible. But losing 10 pounds just by diet alone, I do walk, but I, don't, I never really exercise excessively. I will walk over 10,000 steps a day, but I'm not going down to the gym and lifting weights like I used to. Still doing the same rituals I did every day, just changing my diet. I've noticed some changes. I have not gone down like a pant size or anything like that, but my pants are looser. I have to wear a belt. I noticed like my biggest notice I have is like my hips are protruding. I've never had like the nice like hips that some girls have like, uh, no, I, mine are, mine are there now, which is 
crazy to me. The little under boob chub is fading away. I have the best part, and it's not even, it's not even about the weight loss at this point. The weight loss is an added bonus, but let me tell you this. This is the thing that I did not anticipate happening. I have so much more drive, so much more motivation, energy. I am alert and I am awake all the time. I did not expect that. I heard that that could be an effect of being on the keto diet, but I did not realize how sluggish I was and how tired and unmotivated. I started my YouTube channel when I started the keto diet. I have been working even more and I've been producing even better creative things. I have moved on to being a better, more creative person than I ever thought I could be. I always was creative, but I was just more tired. I was so tired and I have so much more mental energy that is not being backed up by bad processed foods. Those are the hot topics that I have learned through this process about myself and things that I have noticed. So let's get into some pros and some cons. Um, I will do one pro for every con just so it doesn't get to hating on it or loving on it because there are a lot of negatives. There are, there's a lot. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This is not the easiest thing I've ever done. It's not easy to lose 10 pounds, it's not. But let's start with a con so we can sprinkle in a pro. This was a way bigger commitment than I ever thought it would be when I first started. I thought it would just be purchasing different foods and not my normal foods and just cooking a little bit differently. No, I have to buy all these different ingredients that I never actually even heard of before because I never was a clean eater. Um, I have to buy almond flour, flax seed, chia seeds, hemp seeds, uh, a lot of just odd items that were never in my kitchen before. I have to now cook with that. I pay attention to what's even in the ingredients of my butter. The darker the butter, the better it is. The lighter in the 99 cent packs, it's not really butter. It's more canola oils and other oils along that nature that aren't the best for you. And speaking of food, I have to go to the grocery store a lot. I am at the grocery store so frequently, it is insane. I have to go at least two times a week, at least, minimum, minimum two times a week to the grocery store. I would go like two, three weeks without going to a grocery store. I had one grocery store big haul a month, and now I have to go two times a week minimum. And that is just something so different to my everyday life. A positive is that I'm a picky eater. I am the biggest picky eater. I have grown so much in my lifetime. I will say that now, but I'm still picky. I'm still, I don't like sauces. I don't, I've no, I don't like ketchup or things like that, that people get so crazy about. I bet the comments will be blowing up. But through this process, through the keto diet, I have broken my boundaries and have tried different foods that I normally not would not have. I am testing out different things. I am eating whatever comes on that salad that I order or just going out of my comfort zone to try maybe a different fish. Just different things that I never thought I would really go for or need to go for. I don't need to, but mixing up your food is kind of nice. Another con I would say is going out to eat can be a little tricky. I know there is something I can eat at any restaurant practically I go to, but it might not be like what I want to eat. My life revolves around a lot of like breweries or tacos and knowing that I can't have a taco or a pizza with a group of friends. It can make things a little bit more awkward. And a pro about eating out is that I don't do it as much. So I am saving money not going out and eating two to three times a week with friends or my boyfriend or something like that. Which is fine because I know I can make things at home that will probably taste even better. I'm not really a good cook though, so don't get that in your head. I'm learning. I am learning how to cook. I guess that is also a pro because I would have never cooked before this. An awkward con is drinking. I am still young. I am 24. Uh, a lot of my social activities revolve around alcohol. I am able to do liquors, which I 
hate liquors. Um, dry wines or light beers on like one bottle. I broke that a little bit, but mostly like a Michelob Ultra is the best or light beer. I try to not even do that though. I'll stick with a wine, but that's expensive when you go out. Or I've tried those white girl truly or white claws because there's no laws when you're drinking claws. Am I right? I'm sorry. So drinking can be difficult, but I've learned to overcome that. I don't drink as much. I would come home and drink a beer after work almost every single day. I know I don't need that. I miss it. I mean, I did like having a beer on my porch, but I don't, it's not necessary for me to go on. I still will have fun on the weekends whenever I'm with friends and I'm out and about and there's a more of a purpose to drinking? Is that a thing? That ties into the biggest heart for me was not being able to drink a beer and eat some pasta. I, those are my two favorite things. That's my combo and that's why I have gained weight and that's why I felt crappy and was tired and unmotivated and I probably, I still will have those things every now and then, but I don't think they are a necessity to my diet. I know I would eat noodles because they were fast, they were easy, but there's other foods that I can still eat now that are fast and easy. I just have to put a little bit more effort into having the supplies and everything ready to go. I've had a few light beers, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been perfect on my diet. I cheated one day because I was at my favorite taco place and I did have three taco shells. I don't think it was the biggest, it never roadblocked me. It probably stalled me, but it never kicked me out of ketosis. The reason this video is going up now and not even later down my keto journey is because I am going on vacation next week to Atlantis and I have been on this diet. I love this diet, but I also want to have a good time on vacation. And if I want to have a pina colada on the beach, I'm going to do so. I am not saying I'm going to go get like a McDonald's tonight for dinner or I'm going to go buy a bag of Funyuns and eat them on the plane. I just am going to be more smart about what I eat for sure and I definitely know what goes into my body will affect how I'm feeling but I also know it's a vacation. It's an opportunity to eat something that you might not have before. It's an opportunity to try something that you can only have there. So I'm not going to stop myself from not eating or having what I want while I'm away. I think whenever I do get back from vacation, I will come back to this whole keto thing. I want to get down to my goal weight. I want to weigh 130. I think that's my solid. That's what I did going into this way weigh going into college. I'm a curvy girl by nature. I got massive hips and it's a disaster. But I know I can't go to like under a hundred for what a normal five foot girl should be. I know that I still have to be, you know, within a healthy size for myself and then maybe I'll even start going back to the gym and adding more health into my life. It has definitely affected me in ways I did not think it would. I really did not expect to like it. Um, I'm surprised I'm not gonna go make myself some noodles right now. I think it's a great diet and if you are looking to lose some weight but in a healthy, natural way, I really think this is a great diet to maybe look into. Um, ask your doctor first, but it's it's very it's very great. It's something that I did not expect to love, and I do, and I feel great about myself. Okay, I think that's all for me today, guys. Sorry for the long video. I just really wanted to make sure I let everything that I've been feeling for the past 35 days off my chest. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave me a like if you did and subscribe to this channel so you can get more content that is not like this because I am not turning into a diet channel. Okay guys, cheers.